Hello, my name is M.I. Thomas. I am the screenwriter for the past one of Malam Ilya animated film. This is not a project that only one thing stands out. I mean, everything about this film is unique in its way. I mean, it's an experience you've never had before from the characters, their archetypes, their roles in the film, how they look like, even how they talk, the places where the story takes place. I mean, the entire map of the story. Um, there's just not one thing that stands out more than the other. So it's, it's an experience in itself in totality. 19th century Kano is, is actually a very, very interesting period. And for a storyteller who did not live at that time, the one viable means of getting an accurate depiction of that time is to delve into research process the way we did it. I mean, traveling to Kano, spending time within the walls of that city, getting acquainted with the history of Kano, um, in the 19th century from the grounds, you know, talking to people who were born close to that time, people who recorded history. I mean, we went to the universities, the colleges, the polytechnics that have history departments, and we read books that were written around that time and books that were written about that time. And then, of course, we spoke to people who were like, 80, 90 years old. This guy's a lot closer to that period than we are. So it, it wasn't just reading off the internet or talking to journalists or getting some of these books. We were actually there on ground. And all of these things helped me in shaping my story and depicting 19th century kind of in such a way that the architecture, the language, the physical anatomy of the people was was accurately captured as much as we can. Because it, it's such a time that Nothing can be left to chance if you're trying to paint a very good picture. So when you look at how much time we spend in digging up all of these things, you can be rest assured that we are going to give you a near 100% depiction of 19th century Kano as it was. Now, the film is a work of fiction that is grounded in history. And so, you know, as a, as a scriptwriter, there's always this um, conundrum of how do you not allow the truth to stand in the way of a great story? You know, by if you stick to history, you're going to miss out on something. If you go full fantasy, you're going to miss out, miss out on something. So how do you blend this? Now, as a storyteller, I made sure that the narrative structure, regardless of the creative liberty we took, was um, grounded in the historical fact that we already established in our research. So that's how I've been able to um, bring these two elements together, you know, create a narrative that appeals to a wide range of people, including those who never read the book to start with but in such a way that it stays true to the foundations already laid in the book, which are the historical facts attached to the story.